right, so gardeners who need a little help with their green thumbs have sent in their questions, especially as the warm season is end here. Dr. Dirt here to answer them all. Good to see you. Good to be as here. As always. And I thought we were talking football today. Hey. You are talking football today. So let's start let's start out with our question no, from Jack. A fumble. <laughs> fumble there. All right, so Jack's off with the first question. He says, Henbit, that's what he's talking about. Take it over his yard and rhubarb patch. He says, What can I do? Should I address it now or in the spring? Henbit. Okay, henbit is a beautiful wildflower, unless it's in your rhubarb or your lawn. Yeah. So what I what I would do is I'd cut the rhubarb off. And then what I would do, I'd spray the area with a, a broadleaf uh, weed killer, the rhubarb area and the lawn area. I, anytime the temperature is above 50 degrees, they can spray, and hopefully two applications should eliminate the rhubarb, I mean the, the hen bit. The hen bit. Not Jack got to do it today with it being 58 degrees yep. right now. Right. Today might be a good day to do it. All right, move on to the next question. This one's from uh, Kathleen. She says that recently she did some hands landscaping close to her house using wood chip mulch. And her neighbor told her that the mulch might be a haven for termites. She wants to know if that's true. I don't think so. The, the termites actually go for the big pieces of wood, like the house. So the wood chips, no problem. No problem. Tell the neighbor. Oh, All yeah. right. Let's go on to Tammy's question. She says, when can I put a uh, plant, excuse me, when can I trim my Wygela plant? Uh, okay. How far should she trim it? She can shave it up right now. Uh, but I wouldn't do a whole lot of pruning to it. But next spring, after it blooms, I'd give it another haircut, and then you'll get a second flush of bloom. A Wygela plant. What does Wygela. that look like for po folks who don't, don't know that? Oh, it's a, dis a deciduous shrub because it's about five or six feet high and about that wide. But it's a beautiful uh, late spring, early summer blooming plant. All right, that'll do it. If you got a question for Dick Crum, you can email anytime. Also, snap a picture of your problem. We'd love to see what the Wygela looks like, right? Absolutely. Yeah, just send it to Dr. Dirt at theindiechannel.com, and you might see your backyard on RTV6 News at noon. Always a pleasure, Dr. Dirt. Love Thank the hat. Sir. Go Colts. Thank you.